Good morning. How are you? Um, I'm just um, getting in here just to let you know that um, I have been a victim of um, identity theft. And this is something that's been going on since 2007. Um, I have an issue with my RMV information being attached to someone in Pennsylvania. And the only reason why they attached her information to me, and I live in Massachusetts, it's because um, her first name is like my first name, Maria, and her date of birth is the same day as my birth date. For some reason, um, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania uh, attaches people uh, with their first name and the date of birth to other people. I don't know why this happens. Uh, in 2007, I contacted them and I told them what was going on, that there was something wrong. I tried to renew my license and I wasn't able to do that because of something that the woman in Pennsylvania has been doing. Uh, she has tickets and she has other things going on. In fact, I have her record. Um, let me see if I can find it. And it says how she has been, you know, has warrants and, you know, it's crazy. It's just, uh, she has, um, let's see, non-renewal, expiration, non fail to appear in Pennsylvania court, a hearing, uh, to appear and, and it happened and this happened uh, this is 2011 uh, not failed to appear in 2011 expiration payment default in Dorchester I don't I, I don't even know what that's about um, uh, expiration on failed to appear in 2007 uh, revocation 2007 uh, this is, uh, it's crazy the way that they have this woman linked to me only through the first name and the date of birth. So the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania needs to fix this because I could just imagine all the people uh, out there that are linked to situations like this that they have no clue it's happening to, the, to them just because of the system that the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania is using. Um, I would appreciate it if uh, the governor, someone, whoever is in charge of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania fixes this glitch. And I'm going to call it a glitch, but it's not. It's a major problem that ruins people's lives because I am in a, in a criminal justice major, double majoring, the psychology and criminal justice. I have been trying to find a job since 2008 after I got laid off, and no one has called me. I have applied at the IRS. I've applied um, everywhere that has a government, you know, every government agency that you can think of. And no one has gotten back to me, and now I understand why. Because my record shows at the RMV that I am this person, that I'm not. So when I went to the RMV yesterday, they were so nice. You know, I mean, that's kind of rare, but the woman that helped me was so nice. She's a sweetheart. Um, she um, contacted the Pennsylvania uh, RMV, and... Um, she said that she will mail me out something. Uh, in 2007, I received a letter, and I'm going to show you the letter. You know, I the letter states from the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania Department of Transportation Bureau of Drivers License Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. This is the letter that they sent me. This is the letter right here. Uh, you can't really see it, but it says, "Dear Miss." And I'm going to say, I'm not going to say my name. This letter is, to respond, is a response to your correspondence regarding a possible match on the problem driver pointer system, PDF, PDPS, with Maria, the other Maria. Date of birth, 226-64, who has established Pennsylvania's driver's record. After reviewing 
PennDOT records and documentation provided by you, it has been determined that you are a driver who is sanctioned in Pennsylvania are not the same person. Should you need additional information, please feel welcome to call, not, oh, I'm not going to say her name, of Pennsylvania.pdps unit. And then it gives me a number to call. Okay, this was 2007. Um, okay, so then the years go by. I had to renew my license, and still I had the same issue. And then I called that number, and of course they gave me a hard time. And I said, you know what? I'm not this person. I have the letter to prove it. They told they told me to send the letter, plus other information, which I did. So as like yesterday, I went yesterday because I got my query in the mail after I went to try and get an internship for, um, you know, a government agency. Of course, they check everything, your background, everything. So I get my query back, and it shows me um, the form that I show you all the court things, you know, all the defaults of this other person. Which I'm saying, you know, that's not me. I don't understand. I've never done anything to get in trouble. I've walked a straight and narrow road all my life. I've never gotten arrested for anything in my life. Um, I am in a criminal justice major because I respect authority. I respect law enforcement. I wanted to go, and I still want to go, you know, forward with my criminal justice. And here I am coming up with excuse me, having this done to me by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania uh, stealing my identity because that's identity theft. Uh, and it's sad that it's an agency that's doing it. It's not a person. It's an agency that should be more careful of what they do. Uh, they should have better um, equipment, how to track people, how to... Um, you know, just take care of situations that are going on uh, and not ruin other people's lives. So if there's anyone out there, I could just imagine other people that are sitting in jail because of this situation. There has to be a better way. So I pray and hope that you guys rectify this because you are really affecting a lot of people. And like I said, this is the reason why I haven't been able to find a job for years. I understand that now. I understand that the reason why I haven't been called is because I have this record behind me that doesn't even belong to me. So I just wanted to you know, let people know just to be careful. And um, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, um, what are you doing to people? You know, you need to do something. Thank you.